Hey there everyone, Nathan from Minnesota Mobile Guy here. I have with me here today a Verizon Wireless Samsung Galaxy Note 4 that I've been working on for a client. So if you take a peek at the label here in the back, we will be able to see the model number, which is the N910V, so that's the Note 4 on Verizon, and there we also can see the phone's IMEI. Now if you take that IMEI and look it up on any of the websites that allow you to check them, it'll tell you that it's unfortunately been reported lost or stolen. That's also known as blacklisted. So this is one that a client shipped into me asking me to fix it for them because they were sold the phone by someone who was dishonest about the phone status, didn't tell them that it was lost or stolen. So in that case, when a phone is blacklisted, it's unable to be used on any US carriers no matter what, even if it's unlocked for other providers. You put your SIM in, it won't give you any signal at all. It'll say stuck on no service or searching for signal or emergency calls only, something along that line. So normally, the phone would not be able to be used at all. But my business offers services whereby I can get those phones fixed for you and usable again in the event that you find yourself scammed by a dishonest seller. So this is one that I've actually fixed. And now we can see that it actually does pick up signal with the T-Mobile SIM that I have inside there. So you've got T-Mobile there, and up at the top, we'll be able to see that now it does have the signal bars, whereas before it was, was not showing anything. So this phone has now been fully fixed and is able to be used again. If you have a blacklisted Verizon Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and would like to get it fixed, go ahead and get in contact with me. All the details will be in the video description. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, también hablo español, así que no duden contactarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.